So the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu mentioned that the last man, the last person to enter Jannah will be a person who will be in Jahannam. And my Allah Rabbul Izzah protect me and you from Jahannam. Say Ameen. So this man, the hadith says, will walk a step and fall a step and the fire burn him a step. So he's in calamity. You know, every step he takes, he falls on his face and the gush of the fire comes and he screams in agony. So he says, Ya Rabb, release me from this. Free me from this fire. For its flames have burnt me and its fumes suffocate me. And he complains to Allah Rabbul Izza. So the Lord of mercy and honor tells him, if I release you from the fire, do you promise not to ask for anything more? So he says, Bi'izzatik Ya Rabb, by your honor Ya Rabb, I swear, you take me out of here, I won't ask for another thing. So the Dhul Arsh al Majidin, Fa'alul Lima Yurid, takes him out of Jahannam. And when he comes out of it, he looks back towards it and he says, Glory be to the one that saved me from this. Not another person from the Awaleen or the Akhireen is more honored than me. You see, because of where he was, in comparison, this is heaven. So in his mind, there is nothing, more, no one is more favored than him. So he comes outside Jahannam. And then Allah Rabbul Izza orders for a tree to come out in front of him and for a spring of water. So he's at the gates of Jahannam and he sees water. And understand there's no water in Jahannam. My Allah save me and you from Jahannam. And any time they ask for a drink, they are given a water that burns the face as they drink it. So water is a rare commodity. So when he sees water, he longs for it. But he's promised that he can't ask for anything more. So, and one of the hadiths is, Ya Rabb, Ya Rabb, Oh Allah, Oh Allah. Not one thing to ask, but at the same time, it's too tempting. So then he says, Ya Rabb, take me close to that tree and that water so that I might sit under its shade and drink from its water. So Allah Rabbul Izza says, Ya Ibn Adam, Ma Aghdarak, O son of Adam, how would you break your word? Didn't you promise me that you wouldn't ask for anything anymore? So the hadith says Allah Rabbul Izza excuses him because he's been shown something that he has no patience towards. There's no way he could hold back. Allah Rabbul Izza knows. So when he goes under the tree and drinks from its water and enjoys its shade, another tree bigger and better comes out in front of him near the gates of Jannah and the stream is running alongside it. So he looks at it and in the hadith, Ya Rabb, Ya Rabb, Oh Allah, Oh Allah. And then take me to it, Ya Rabb, closer to that tree. So Allah Rabbul Izzah says, O oh son of Adam, how you break your word. Didn't you promise? And every time, it's not an ordinary, it says, Bi'izzatik, by your honor, Ya Rabb, I won't ask for anything more. So Allah, so he says, take me there, Ya Rabb, I swear, I want, Bi'izzatik, by your honor, I won't ask for anything more. So Allah Rabbul Izza takes him to that tree. It is by the gates of Jannah. So when he sits under the tree and enjoys the shade and drinks from the water, he looks and he can see inside Jannah. And Subhanallah, who can look at Jannah and not... To, you know, you see a nice house and your heart thinks, Ya Rabb, or you see a nice car. Kids do this, my Lamborghini, and it's not his. Yeah, because you want it so bad. So he sees Jannah. And the heart longs for it. And Jannah is an abode worthy of beholding. Imagine the pebbles of Jannah are jewels, rubies and emeralds. Its cement is gold. No, its cement is misk. Its bricks are gold and silver. The trees of Jannah, فَمَا فِيهَا مِنْ شَجَرَةٍ إِلَّا وَسَاقُهَا مِنْ ذَهَبٍ There's not a tree in Jannah except that its trunk is made from solid gold. Shade that would last for a hundred years for a rider to ride under. So he sees this and the perfume and the scent of Jannah. So he says, Ya Rabb, enter me into Jannah. He's just come out of Jahannam. Enter me into Jannah. So Allah Rabbul Izzah says, O son of Adam, how you break your word, you promised. So he says, Ya Rabb, enter me into there and I won't ask for anything else. So Allah Rabbul Izzah says, enter Jannah. And you know when you come late to a party, all the seats look full because you know you feel out of place. This man's late to the party. He's late to Jannah. So when he enters, he says, 
all the places are taken. Where, you know, where, where do I go? So Allah Rabbul Azza says, it is my servant. What if I give you, in one of the narrations, what if I give you the size of the kingdom of one of the kings of the dunya? And you look at some of the kings that have passed, Harun al Rashid used to look at the clouds and say, cloud, rain wherever you want, its fruits will come to me. Because the bulk of the earth was under his reign. So there were kings like that. So what if I give you the kingdom of one of the kings of the dunya? So he says, Ya Rabb, you make fun of me and you are the Lord of the world. You're mocking me and you are Rabbul, I am nothing in you. So Ibn Mas'ud, when he's narrating this laugh, and out of the sun of it, I, I am smiling with it. So they asked him, Ya Ibn Mas'ud, why did you laugh? He goes, because the Prophet of Allah laughed. And we asked him, why did you laugh? He said, my Lord laughed when the man said this. So Allah Rabbul Izza said, for you was that. In another hadith, what if I give you the size, a place, the size of the earth? So Allah Rabbul Izza, after he laughs, he says, for you was that. Granted, the size of one of the kingdoms or the size of the earth. Wamithlu and another like it. 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 And when he reaches the fifth one, the man says, Radit, Ya Rab, Radit, I am satisfied, Ya Rab, I am satisfied. And Sa'id al Khudri is in the gathering of Abu Huraira when he's mentioning the hadith. So he said, I bear witness that I saw the Prophet say, For you as that and ten times like it as in the five, and then 10 times in one of the fahams, as in 50 times the size of one of the kingdoms of the kings of this world, for the last person to enter Jannah.